Welcome back to the PS Use. Today I'm showing you how to overclock, sorry, I meant undervolt, but the result is the same. This i9 10900F on a locked B560 motherboard. And this works for every 10th gen CPU on a B460, B560, Z590, Z490. It works for all of them and you will get lower power consumption, lower temperature and more performance by going around the power limits. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first thing you do is you get into the BIOS. Now this is an ASUS BIOS because we're using a B560 TUF, but it doesn't matter what BIOS you're on. Just get into it and then go into the advanced mode. In this case, it's F7 on the keyboard. Now, once we're here, we want to go on the AI tweaker. Now, if you have an ASUS board, you want to select ASUS Performance Enhancement 2.0, enable it, and Power Enhancement, enable it. On different boards, it will be called something like Overclocking Mode Extreme, or like Performance Tuning, or like Multicore Enhancement, something like that, just enable it. What this does is this unlocks all your power limits. Now, if you don't have any of these, I have a way for you as well, okay? So you go into internal CPU power management or CPU power management or something like that. And then in there, everything that basically says power or current, you wanna put it to the max. So just hit all nines there, yeah? Just nine across the board. Power time window to the max. Just, just max it out, all of it, right there. Okay, and now you have effectively uh, unlocked all the power limits of your CPU. Okay, now this will allow you to have basically the CPU boost higher. Now this just works for performance. It does not work for lowering the temperature. Now we will lower the temperature and the power. So we go in there, again on AI tweaker or like overclocking or like tuning depending on the board. And we wanna find something that's called CPU core voltage or CPU voltage. Now, it will be on auto, depending on the motherboard, you might have like a mode, you wanna put it to offset mode, okay? Then you wanna select the negative sign, okay? If your motherboard does not have the negative sign, the value which we're gonna input has to be negative. So, for example, if your motherboard does not have the minus here, you will have to input minus 0.05. .05. Whereas if it has it, we can input 0.05, .05, which is what I'm gonna do now, right there. Okay, so this, what we're doing here is we are basically reducing um, the voltage of our CPU under load. Now, since wattage is the product of voltage by ampere, well, current, and the current results from the load of the CPU, by reducing the voltage with a constant load, we are effectively reducing how much power we draw. So, in short, do this, okay? That doesn't matter why. And we are done. Now, if you're watching this tutorial and your CPU is overheating, don't unlock the power limits as we've shown in the first part of the tutorial, okay? Just do this. Don't, just change this simple setting. Change this, your CPU will change dramatically, okay? Now, tutorial is finished, but if you wanna hear a couple extra tips, be sure that your resize bar is enabled. That's very important if you have a 3000 series graphic card. And also, make sure to tune your fans so that they don't make as much noise. Uh, if you have like an ASUS motherboard, you can like uh, do the auto-tune function, like in there, Q-fan tuning it's called, but anyways, that's besides the point. If you wanna have better performance, you can go higher with this number or technically lower since it's a negative. So for example, on my personal CPU, I can go as low as 0.075 and the CPU will still work. So this will give me even lower temperature, even lower power consumption. And if you are in a power constrained scenario, this will give you actually more power. So what you want to do is you can test this one out. So you get it lower, you go into Windows, you test your PC. If it doesn't crash, you can keep it as high as, it, as, as you want. But if your PC crashes, no worries, you won't be damaging anything, but you need to come back into the BIOS and set it to 0.05. Or if 0.05 doesn't work, 0.04, you, you get the idea. So this is it for today's guys. I have many more tutorials, also more in-depth ones in case you wanna overclock your CPU 
overclock your GPU, undervolt your GPU, it's all on the channel. I also have very interesting builds like this one, which I put together with an i9 and a 3070 for just 1000 bucks. They're on the channel, maybe go check it out and drop a like and a sub. See you in the next one guys, bye!